Okay, here's a video that none of you asked for, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. This is a video about air-to-air -air filming and photography. So this came about because the flight school that I work with, Three Wing Aviation in Stratford in Connecticut, asked for some promotional photos of one of their aircraft. So we have arranged that, and I'm going to take the photos. And so what do we need for air-to-air -air photography? Well, obviously we need the aircraft that we're taking photos of. We're going to use a helicopter as the chase aircraft, in this case a 206 Jet Ranger. Obviously we need a pilot for the subject aircraft and for safety reasons, an observer. A pilot for the chase helicopter, which is my friend Andrew. An observer in the helicopter, which is my friend Nick, who's also going to be the backup cameraman. And we need a cameraman, which is myself. Uh, we also need a large stuffed gorilla. I, I don't know why, it's just an FAA regulation, so William's going to come along. But before we get into the flying, let's stop for a minute and look at how we set up a camera for this sort of shooting. Obviously we want a camera with a decent zoom lens, so 100mm or more. And it's nice to have a lens with a reasonably wide aperture. A wide aperture allows for shallow depth of field. What that means is that it differentiates the subject from the background. As you can see in this photo, the background's a little more blurred as the subject's in focus and it draws the eye. And secondly, this is something that is often overlooked with aircraft photography and that is the shutter speed. The camera left to its own devices will often shoot with a much faster shutter speed than is desirable for this type of shots. And why we want a slower shutter speed is for two reasons. Firstly, we want to see the movement of the aircraft where possible. And we also want to see movement on the propellers. Um, because when the propeller is just sitting still in the air, it looks like the engine's not running. So we want to see some movement on those propellers. And the slower the shutter speed, the better. Like in this helicopter photo. It's a nicely shot photo, but it looks like the blades are stopped um, because the shutter speed was too quick. However, this does cause another problem. Uh, if you're setting your aperture to the widest open aperture manually and you're setting your shutter speed to a slower speed, basically you're letting more light in. Wide aperture lets a lot of light into the camera. Slower shutter speed lets a lot of light into the camera. So the camera will try and compensate, or you can manually try and compensate, by setting the lowest ISO, which is the sensitivity of the sensor. However, most cameras can only go down to 100 ISO or 50 ISO. However, that's simply not low enough to compensate for the wide aperture and the slow shutter speed. So we need to block some light getting into this camera. So, so first of all, you want a neutral density filter, which is just a filter that reduces the amount of light getting into the lens. Uh, and secondly, you might want to consider a circular polarizing filter, which also reduces the amount of light getting into the lens. It also clears the reflections from perspex and glass, so it allows you to see the pilots within the aircraft. Uh, it just may, and it works with cars as well. If you want to see through those windshields, uh, you'll put a circular polarizer on and it clears the windshield. So let me stop talking and we'll listen to the sexy sound of the jet ranger yeah. starting up. Uh, fuel valve anti calls, position lights, fuel light, fuel boost pumps, check one, two. Okay, here we go for start. So while we wait for Andrew to get us off the ground, here's 33 Charlie Tango taxiing past. This is the aircraft that we're going to be photographing today. Helicopter 23 Julia Bravo, Bridgeport Tower not in sight and uh, reposition on Alpha Bravo is approved. That's helicopter 411 Delta Delta and we'll go to Alpha Bravo, we have echo, thanks. And 411 Delta Delta, my apologies, uh, not in sight, reposition Alpha and uh, Bravo is approved. Alpha Bravo, Delta. Alright boys, coming up. 
Tails clear both sides, screw all the way around, lights are all out. Green, 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 60 gallons of fuel. Nick, all set in the back. All set in the back. Nick, all set in the front. All set in the front, coming up. Whoa, whoa, Delta, Delta, say again, uh, direction of flight. It's going to be a part of the southwest. Come. Up and stable, looks normal, feels normal. Clear right, slide right, Nick in the back. Can you check for leak sustains? No leak sustains. Taxiway is clear left and right. Cherokee 2 1, Juliet, right turn to hotel, contact ground. Right now, hotel, 2 1, Juliet. Okay. 82 3 November, there'll be a Cessna cross the runway right. from one from uh, at hotel. 85 dollar. Uh, 2 3 November, uh, keeping an eye on the Cessna cross the runway. 2 3 November. Helicopter 411 Delta Delta, Alpha Taxiway, Bravo intersection clear for takeoff, southwestbound, traffic two miles southeast of the field, entering a right downwind at 1,000 feet. Alright, 1 Delta Delta, be looking for the inbound traffic entry, the jam wind, Alpha, Bravo clear for takeoff. November 135 Echo, traffic departing uh, southwestbound to be a helicopter, be on the lookout. We'll be on the lookout once we're back up. Daily mile for four miles west of the field. While we're waiting for the fixed wing aircraft to catch up with us, uh, we flew over the Bridgeport to Port Jefferson ferry, which runs between Connecticut and Long Island. I took some photos. I might even send the photos to them to improve their shitty website. Meantime, outbound and on our right, we were joined by our fixed wing friend and we started the photography session. Let me know when we just switch sides and go to the other side. Yeah, let's go turn around. All right. Jazz, we're going to slide over to your right side. All right, it's 50 seconds. Just below you, Nick, coming out. It's going to be a good shot, actually. Do the breakaway here, Nick? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Alright. So Charlie Tango, whenever you're ready, you can make a left turn break away from us. I'll do a little breakaway for you, that's the Charlie Tango. You want me to follow him, Nick? Yep. Yep. So next we made a sweeping turn to the left, 180 degrees, back towards the airport, keeping the sun behind us for the best photos. Now we're heading towards an airport which is known as a Class Delta, which is an air traffic controlled airport. And you might wonder, how do you handle those communications with two aircraft? Well, when you hear Andrew make his next call, he uses the term flight of two, which means he's managing the communications and tracking of both aircraft. So they only have to talk to Andrew and both aircraft will do the same thing. We're looking to land the fixed wing and parallel that landing. That is the helicopter continues alongside while well, it lands Bridgeport Terror, good morning, helicopter November 411 Delta Delta. Helicopter 411 Delta Delta, Bridgeport Terror, welcome back. Continue inbound, report two miles west of the field, altimeter 3011. A 411 Delta Delta, actually slightly different request. One Delta Delta is a flight of two, we're out here with 33 Charlie Tango. We'd like to come in as a flight of two, and Charlie Tango would like to join a left pattern for a left downwind and base landing runway 11. We'd like to do some photos of them parallel at the same time. Once they enter the left downwind or the right downwind? Yeah, we were requesting for photos if we can join a left downwind for 1-1. It'd be great. We're out here to the west, so we'd want to cross over. And helicopter 411 Delta Delta, flight um, at or above 1,500. You can fly overhead the field and uh, enter the left downwind for runway 1-1. Overhead the field uh, at or above 1,500 and enter the left downwind runway 1-1. Traffic, one Delta 9 Delta o'clock, flight. low, less than one mile. All right. Power. So here we are, overflying the airport. We're looking for him to approach runway 11. So we're going to overfly, circle around, join the pattern, and he's going to approach into that run one, which is just below the skid there. Uh, and we're going to take a few photos, and that will wrap this photo session. Air helicopter 1 Delta Delta. 
Helicopter 411 Delta Delta Roger. Continue uh, inbound the field. Uh, hold short of uh, runway 11. Uh, correction, remain north of runway 11, and uh, I'll call you across. Yeah, one Delta Delta, we're just paralleling 3-3 three, three, Charlie Tango on short final. Uh, once he touches down for his touch and go, we're going to break away and uh, land Alpha Charlie, if that works. Roger, and uh, Alpha Taxiway Charlie, intersection, you're clear to land. Alpha Charlie, clear to land. One Delta, Delta thanks. All right, Nick, so we're going to get him on the landing right beside right, us. Yeah, that works. works. That works. Miles to the north, 500. Helicopter 1431, one, Whiskey, Roger, continue inbound traffic, short final runway 11 for, uh, for arrival. I do have that traffic in short final in sight as well as 411 Delta Delta. And uh, additional traffic uh, off your nose is Cessna for uh, left close traffic remaining at 1,000 feet. Yeah, I have him too as well. Roger, I have you in sight and uh, continue just uh, remain north of uh, 1129 uh, at this time for landing traffic. Oh, he's going around. Hang around. Okay, I got it. We'll okay. remain north of 1129 for landing traffic. Officer, what the fuck is going on? For Tower A Lima Alpha, left downwind for 1 1. There's an A Lima Alpha, Roger, number 2, following traffic, short final runway 1 1 for the traffic is safe. So that's the end of our little photography session. It's not something you get to do every day, but it's a certainly an interesting experience and I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along for the ride. Certainly if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below or if you need some aerial photography, certainly let me know and I'll put you in touch with Andrew and we can arrange that in the uh, New York area, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone as always and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye then. Continue inbound this time. Uh